Today I'm a strawberry. Hey guys, I'm going to show you a really cute Halloween costume. I know a lot of you guys want to see something scary, but next week I'm going to try to bring that for you. But today, I'm going to be my favorite fruit. My absolute favorite fruit in the whole world is a strawberry. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to make a strawberry costume. You can do the bun, but if you want to wear your hair down, I'm going to show you this other thing. I'm going to give you some options if you don't feel like going out and buying a dress or you don't have a red one to paint, then you can just use an oversized t-shirt. I got mine for really cheap at Michael's Craft Store and I'm sure you can find them at Walmart and Target and places like that. I hope you guys are really excited for this tutorial. I am because it's just so adorable and it's really easy to do so without further ado let's get into making a strawberry costume for Halloween go for the first look I purchased a really pretty dress from Charlotte Russe for about $27 Since my dress has straps, I decided to paint them green with some fabric paint that I got from Michaels and it's actually a little bit shimmery. It's called Holiday Green. It's really pretty. So I'm just going to paint that along the top part of this. If you have a strapless dress, you don't even have to worry about this part. Wait for the front of the dress to dry before flipping it over to paint the back. You'll probably want to use two coats of fabric paint to get a really nice bright green. Next, I'm going to create these spiky leaves to place around the collar. Use a piece of cardstock paper as a guide and then when you cut your fabric you'll want to make it larger than the actual shape of your paper because you'll want to fold the sides in so there aren't any frays. If you're using felt you won't have to do this because that doesn't really fray but if you're using the fabric that I have then you will. As you can see I've cut slits from the corners and then I'm going to use fabric glue to hold these edges down. And every time I glue one of the edges, I place the template back in so I can use that as a guide when I fold the edge over and see what I have to cut off and where I have to glue it. After the final edge is glued, I cut a smaller triangle shape out of fabric and then I just glue that onto the back. This just gives it another layer so you don't see the red fabric through. Create as many leaves as you need for the front of your strawberry costume. While we're waiting for the glue to dry, let's move on to the seeds. So I'm using this stencil that I got from Michaels and it's going to take a really long time to do this. but. I am using a sponge and white fabric paint and I'm just going to place seeds over the entire front of the dress. I know I'm a little crazy, but if you don't want to do this, you can just paint bigger ones on by hand or you don't have to put seeds, but I think they look so cute. Now my dress is full of seeds just on the front. It took forever, but I love the way it looks. At this point, the glue on the leaves is pretty dry, so I'm going to paint the leaves with the same fabric paint that I used on the straps. I just want it to match a little better, and then it will disguise any of the glue marks. After the paint dries, I'm going to arrange the leaves along the collar of the costume. They're not glued down yet, so I'm going to start with the outside one, since that's the bottom layer, glue those on. And you can see I'm just gluing all those down and the last one I'm going to place is the one in the center. Now using the same fabric that I used for the leaves, I'm going to show you how to create a puffy headpiece that you can wear on a headband. Fold your fabric in half so that it has two layers and then you're going to draw a strawberry leaf pattern on a piece of paper. When you cut the shape out, be sure to cut around the outside of the chalk. Now we're going to create a little pillow out of this. I'm using permanent fabric glue and I'm just going to glue around the entire edge of this fabric piece except for one little area because you'll need that to flip it inside out and add the stuffing. Well, 
Once the glue is completely dry, I'm going to use some fiber fill to stuff the shape. Find the little opening and you're going to pull all of the fabric through that to flip it inside out, which will actually be the right side because you want that to be showing. Take your time while doing this, you don't want to rip anything. And if you need help pulling out the little spikes, you can use a pin to help you just get the fabric out. Stuff it with as much filling as you want to, and then you're going to seal the hole with some glue, and I'm using a clothes pin just to hold it down so it stays. Then once the glue is dried, I'm going to take that shape and just hot glue it onto a headband and it's done. Moving on to the second look, which is much easier, cheaper, and quicker to do. For this one, I'm taking a pink oversized t-shirt. You can use any color you want, but I just got it from Michaels for maybe $4. It was really inexpensive. Personally, I like to cut the collar off and just cut the sleeves off to make it a tank, but you can leave it as a t-shirt if you want. For this one, you don't have to worry about the hassle of gluing the little triangles of fabric to make it a double layer and stuff because we're just using felt and felt doesn't really fray very much. So we're just cutting triangles out of felt and then we're going to glue them around the collar. Place some cardboard in between the layers of your shirt because this will just help the glue from sticking to the back so your shirt isn't stuck together and you can actually wear it. Then I'm taking a garbage bag and I'm just placing that inside the shirt because the glue from the leaves is pretty much dry so now I'm going to paint on the spots with some white fabric paint. And for some reason I'm using the back of the paintbrush, the other end of the paintbrush, I don't know, it just was gliding smoothly so it worked. For the headpiece on this one I'm using some tool and a hair tie. This is really easy, you're just going to cut your fabric into little strips and then you're going to tie them onto the hair tie. It's so easy, ridiculously easy, and it turns out super cute as you've seen from the footage that I showed you at the beginning. Once I have that all tied, I'm going to just cut the ends to make a little triangle, which will make it look more leafy. I purposely left my nails chipped and nasty looking throughout this video because I didn't want to paint them pretty before I had finished using all the fabric paint and glue because it really did make my hands look like a mess. So now I'm just going to remove my chipped nail polish and I'm going to create a cute strawberry look. After the red polish has dried, I'm just going to place some green leaves on top and use a toothpick to place white dots with nail polish as well and let that completely dry before you do anything because it's super easy to mess up your nails. To achieve the bun, I tied my hair into a ponytail at the very top of my head. Then I gathered it into a bun and now I'm placing some actual just scrap pieces of tool over the bun. I'm placing four pieces over it and I'm going to take my little leafy hair tie and just put that around. Once all that's done you have yourself a beautiful strawberry costume and you can wear it out for Halloween to a Halloween party or just dress up randomly during the year which would be amazing. Just wear it to Walmart or something. I don't know. You can combine elements from either costume and mix and match and create your own look, so just go crazy with it. If you do end up creating this look for Halloween, I would love to see a picture, so use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me, and have a happy Halloween! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Halloween tutorials from me, then just check the description box below for my Halloween playlist. Recently I posted a tool tutu, which is a no-sew tutu that you guys could use 
with your Halloween costumes for Halloween if you want to, if you don't know what you're being, or if you need an accessory to go with your costume. If you're not subscribed to my So Craftastic channel, then please do so if you enjoy my videos. And as I said at the beginning of the video, next week I'm going to try my hardest to put up a scary Halloween costume DIY. I am trying really hard to find the pieces for it, but it's kind of hard for me to find the clothes that I need for it, but I'm trying. So if that doesn't work out, I'll try to do another type of scary costume. But anyway, um, let me know what you are planning on being for Halloween. And if you're going to be a strawberry, be sure to send me pictures because I want to see. I do. That is all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And I will see you very soon. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Goodbye. Hey, I'm strawberry. Ah! Halloween is coming. I just took my hair out of the bun. <laughs> Beautiful. You can add a little stem if you want to, but I'm a strawberry that is picked off the vine, so I don't have a stem anymore. <laughs> and if you really want to be cool, you can spray paint your hair green, but that stuff makes me dizzy. I feel like a cat. <laughs>